hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m plus 3 and its whole power 4 and its square root is equals to 9 and we solve this problem for the values of m so here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first we use uh, the nice exponential law and you know about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so we apply here this nice exponent law in the left hand side of the above equation and uh, it will be written as after applying this law we write here our above equation as we know that uh, we write uh, square root into the exponent form we, we know that if we have square root of a we write this radical form to exponential form in this way a to the power of 1 over 2 so in the in this pattern we write the left hand side of this equation as this is m plus 3 to the power of 4 and its whole exponent is 1 over 2 and it is equals to 9 and now here further in the next step uh, we now use here this exponent law and according to this law we multiply these two exponents and after multiplication of the exponents it will be written as m plus 3 to the power of 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 is equals to 9 and now here uh, we need little bit simplifications here and it will be written as m plus 3 and here you see that this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we get here m plus 3 whole square is equals to 9 and now further in the next step uh, you see here this equation will become a quadratic equation in m variable but not into the standard form uh, so here we have uh, different ways to solve this problem uh, now uh, we solve this equation uh, by applying here the algebraic formula in the left hand side or in other words you need to take the square root on both of the sides and you easily solve this problem for the values of m so uh, here i can just solve this problem by applying the uh, square root on both of the sides uh, so after taking square root on both of the sides it will be written as uh, m plus 3 whole square and its whole square root is equals to square root of 9 so now after taking the square root you see here in the left hand side this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here m plus 3 is equals to here we know that when we apply square root on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign on any one of these sides and here you see that the square root of 9 is equals to 3 and now further in order to find the values of m we need to divide uh, this equation into the two cases the first case is we write here the positive value it is m plus 3 is equals to 3 and the second case is we write here the negative value it is m plus 3 is equals to minus 3 and now you see here uh, we move this plus 3 to the right hand side uh, or in other words we just subtract 3 on both of the sides in order to find the value of m okay here we subtract this 3 on both of the sides and now you see here in the left hand side this 3 and this 3 are gone and we will get here m is equals to this is also 3 and 3 are gone and we get here m is equals to 0 so this is the our first real root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to focus on this case here and now here we move this plus 3 to the right hand side and you see here that in the left hand side it is plus 3 when we move in the right hand side it will become minus 3 and we get here our m is equals to minus 3 and minus 3 is equals to minus 6 so this is the our second real root of the given equation so these are the two final roots of uh, the given equation uh, and now here in the next step we need to verify this root and we check that is these two roots are satisfied our given question statement or not okay 
so verification of these rules we need to first copy down given question statement here it is m plus 3 to the power of 4 is equals to 9 so this is our given question statement and here uh, we first verify the root m is equals to 0 and now we put m equals to 0 into the left hand side of the given equation when we put this value here it will be written as 0 plus 3 and its whole power is 4 and its whole square root and we check that is this value is equals to 9 or not so 0 plus 3 is equals to 3 so we get here 3 to the power of 4 and its whole square root is equals to 9 or not this is the our claim so you know about that 3 to the power of 4 is equals to 81 so we replace this value here it will become square root of 81 is equals to 9 and this implies that uh, we know that a square root of 81 is equals to 9 is equals to 9 so this shows that the value of m equals to 0 is satisfied over this given question statement and now here in the next step <coughs> we need to verify our second root and uh, in our second root here uh, we first write the second root that is m is equals to minus 6 so now we put this value of m in the left hand side of this equation and after substituting this value our left hand side is written as minus 6 plus 3 to the power of 4 and we check that is this equals to 9 or not so <coughs> here we need more simplifications uh, so we see that minus 6 plus 3 becomes here minus 3 to the power of 4 and its whole square root and we check that is this equals to 9 or not so further in the next step uh, we know that when uh, the uh, min the negative sign when we have uh, the exponent of uh, a negative base is an even number then our base will becomes positive uh, likewise uh, if we have minus 1 to the power of some even number so it will be written as or it will becomes plus 1 okay according to this rule uh, we write here minus 3 to the power of uh, 4 is equals to 3 to the power of 4 it means that the negative sign will becomes positive and we check that is this equals to 9 or not so here again we see that 3 to the power of 4 is equals to 81 square root is equals to 9 and we check that is this equals to 9 or not and now further in the next step we know that square root of 81 is equals to 9 is equals to 9 so this shows that the value of m is equals to minus 6 is also satisfied our given question statement and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos